All right, guys, so this is a biochemistry video uh, slash single question. I'd like for you to, to look at the question, maybe pause the video and then see if you can answer it. Uh, this is really kind of a, a tail of the tape. Uh, yes, I did uh, kind of steal the concept from a question I had seen a long time ago, but we kind of retweaked it uh, to make it a little bit more of our own. So um, it's a good question, and uh, let's see if you guys can, uh, can handle it. All right, guys, so see if you can solve this one first um, before I work it out. Uh, maybe even pause the video if you, if you need to. It says, research conducted, which isolated the below protein, revealed the following sequence, okay? And you can see 5 prime, and then it goes down to 3 prime. Which of the following is the anticodone of the transfer RNA that would insert into the last amino acid into the polypeptide chain? Okay. So again, pause if you need to, and this is a good question. This kind of lets me know where you're at in the in the process. Um, you know, I've, I've seen this question um, before uh, in some places, and I kind of just re rewrote, rewrote the concept um, of it. Okay, so let's solve and see see how we do. So you know, again, five prime to three prime, but you you know everything has like a matching code, and it goes in in base pairs of three, right? It goes in pace pairs of three. Now, what do we know? Say you didn't know anything about this. What do we do know? Well, we know things, DNA, RNA is made in the five prime to three prime direction. That's a given. We better know that. We know that the uh, start codons um, are going to be what? We, uh, we talked about that. A, A, U, G. Is that correct? A, U, G. Um, and then the stop codons is, are, are going to be... Um, uh, U, G, A, U, A, A, and U, A, G. You know, you go, you go away, you are away, you are gone. Um, and again, start with thinking methionine. It goes up on our on our radar. So, anyways, if you know nothing, that's what at least at least at least you got that. So then you say, well, gosh, I get. I guess I gotta know how to match things up, and we could so you know C uh, goes with G. And A goes with U, okay? Yeah, I just gotta have to know that. So, which of the following is would insert into the last amino acid in the polypeptide chain? So when I'm looking down through these, how do I know which one's the last? Is, is, is this the last one? But it seems like it dot, 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 it keeps going. So they're trying to tell me something in the inside that is meaningful. Well, when I look at these, I don't see, you know, there's no AUGs, but then I start to say, look, they can only ask this question so many ways. Are any of these stop codons in there? No, 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 yes. So this guy is a stop codon. So which of the following anticodons that would insert into the last amino acid? Well, if this is a stop codon, then the last amino acid is going to be this guy. So now we're going to play the matching game, right? We're going to say, okay, G, you go with C, C, you go with G, A with U, um, C with G. A with um, U, and then U, A, and C, G, okay? So now do you have enough information to solve this? Now, what do they want to bait you in on, all right? Where is the trap? Why do they even have this question? Why do they even do this question? Because even if you say, oh, man, I got it. Since that was stopped, then it must be this guy. And you're like, okay, U, G, uh, U, G, C, right? U, G, C. And you'd be jumping all over this, but what's wrong with that answer? Because technically this bottom thing down here is what? If he's a three, that means right below him's gotta be five. We're reading it in the wrong direction. Even though this would be the last one, that's not how you read it. You don't read it this going this way. You gotta go start with the five prime. So it's five prime, C, um, G, U prime okay and that's why out of all these answer choices it's going to be h okay i mean come on that's a there, there's really not too many ways they can ask ask if you understand this concept multi-step good question i like it uh a bit on the difficult side but uh you know that's what we're here we're here to it's like this guys we're here to make our mistakes that's why you get as many you know i want to say many q banks but you do the q banks you don't you don't use the q banks for um, you know, to test your where I'm at and stuff. I say you, you use the QBanks for knowledge. It's to see as, it's to see as many scenarios to where someone can rewrite questions so many different ways 
but it all goes back to the same uh, concept. And that's really what you're looking for is, I'm looking to say, do I understand the concept that I don't care how they ask the question, um, I'm gonna be able to work it. And I've seen so many different scenarios, I'm not gonna be scared, I'm just gonna work the problem. So, hope it was helpful, guys. Mm -hmm.